All right, super excited here. Um, we have Paul Fitzgerald, my man, Paul. I love that guitar in the background, man. Thanks. I, I'm also an accomplished musician, so and I, do, I do like to play. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I have my downtime when I get it. <laughs> That's really hot. Um, Paul and I have known each other for many years. Um, he has um, brought me and got me on uh, a couple of uh, TV spots here in San Diego. Um, and uh, you can actually go on and look on my uh, dental website and find it on uh, Fox News here locally. Um, Paul's uh, background is amazing. His bio is amazing. I'll give him some time to talk about all that he does and all the clients that he's uh, helped in the past. But we're bringing Paul on as one of our partners in our membership program to help the doctors brand themselves better in their communities. Um, you know, it's really interesting because one of the challenges I think that we have as dentists is we're so focused on, we hear the word branding, right? And what does that really mean? I mean, are we branding our website? Are we branding our, you know, domain name? Are we branding our name? Are we branding the self, you know, as far as getting on uh, a TV spot or a marketing spot, a, a print ad or anything, something like that? Um, before I get too far into it, Paul, how about if you introduce yourself, buddy? Thanks so much, Shaheen. It's great to be here in this in this uh, podcast. Uh, I've been in the uh, publicist. I've been a publicist journalist now for 20 years, and I have my own company. And um, it's been an exciting ride. Uh, for the last 20 years, I've worked with an array of clients: dentists, doctors, uh, celebrities, musicians, actors, authors. Uh, even politicians, you name it. Uh, yeah, so I've been uh, actively involved in, 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 in my field uh, for, for many years, and it, it's something I love. Uh, as, a, as a born musician, I played music for many years, so journalism and pub, uh, being a publicist was a natural Can you sing, thing. man? Come on, can you sing or can you just play instruments? I can sing and I play instruments as well. I play the trumpet and guitar, yes. <laughs> Um, you know what, Paul, why don't you throw some names out? I think you've worked with some amazing people, very famous people. Yes. I think it's really important for the doctors listening in here to hear some of your clients that you've been working with. Yes. Uh, they, some of the clients I've been working with include uh, Donny Osmond, uh, Olivia Newton-John, uh, Larry Flint, uh, Lennox Lewis, uh, Lisa Gibbons, uh, Fleetwood Mac, uh, and, and Joe Walsh, and I mean, the list could go on and on. Uh, for Like I said, for the past many years, uh, I've been a publicist and journalist, so I, I interview celebrities, dentists, doctors, and I create a story, and I get that story into the mainstream media, whether it be TV, NBC, CNN, uh, Fox, ABC, BBC, uh, CBC. Um, By the way, it's important for everybody to understand He's not just throwing these stations out. He's actually gotten people on these stations that have been his clients in the past. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we get that clear. So, it, correct, Paul? That's correct. That's correct. So, so for example, if I'm working with a celebrity or if I'm working with a dentist in, in, in a, on a particular topic, um, I would approach the right reporters from different news outlets that cover uh, the certain topic. Um, so, for example, um, uh, with what we did with uh, you, uh, you have, uh, we're offering a mouth guard and are offering a mouth guard. It wasn't we're... just any mouth guard. Come on. Bro. It was the best mouth guard. That's right. On the market. On the market. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. And even Fox, that, even Fox Come on. Blown away. Yeah. <laughs> even Fox is blown away because, you know, as long as, the, as, long as the, we have the right, as long as I have the right hook and, uh, you know, it, the news media is always looking for stories and I, and I, I want, and that's why the news media is around. Of course there's <coughs> bad news, but I focus on a lot of uh, life, uh, dental, new innovations, science and technology type of stories, as well as celebrities. Um, and celebrities are doing a lot of innovative things as well outside of their roles as actors and musicians. They have their own businesses, they have their own causes they believe in and things like that. Um, which actually is really, which is really important because I do believe, strongly believe that there are a lot of dentists that, um, are either holistic dentists or they have some type of a charity, local charity that they work with and they work very closely with. Um, 
And, you know, we do these things out of the goodness of our heart. Um, but it eventually it has some value in, in the business world as well, as far as getting the word out, as far as the, the wonderful things that a lot of us and a lot of the dentists are doing in their local communities. I think it's really important to bring that out. And we, Absolutely. we really don't, right? We really don't. I think that's where PR can be very beneficial on top of the branding idea and getting your name out. It also, there's a lot of dentists doing a lot of good. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and that's what I love about the industry is the, is the community outreach for a part with that dentists are doing Canada, the United States, everywhere. Dentists are doing things in the community that people should know about. And dentists are also offering really cool technology uh, to protect your teeth, your health, your oral health uh, on, that, you know, benefit, you know, on a number of levels. Um, and that's stuff the news media really likes. Um, the community outreach stories, you know, Dennis giving back, uh, that, that's a fantastic way to get your brand in the news. And I want to say this too, when your brand is in the news, you're part of the news, you're not paying for advertising. It's called earned media. And that's very important. And I think a lot of people make mistakes uh, in saying, okay, well, let's, let's do a $100,000 campaign or a $300,000 campaign and just pump ads out there that's effective to some degree don't get me wrong um, but when someone sees you on the tv news as part of the newscast or reads you in the newspaper on page one or page three or page five as a feature all of a sudden you be your brand becomes much more credible you're seen as that wow yep. this is the go-to dental practice there is this is the right celebrity who's coming to town to perform this is the best new invention I've heard of, uh, it builds credibility. And it's, 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 it's very unique. You become the expert, right? Yes, um, yes. And, and yeah. it's got to be one of those things that stays consistent. I think that's one of the key factors in the, in the idea of PR and branding is that we always have to be out in the community and we always have to be in front of people. Um, to Paul's point, um, if he's able to, and he's been able to obviously do some wonderful things these past 20 years, the cost is zero. Um, I'll tell you my experience. Paul called me on a random day. He's like, hey, man, I got you a Fox gig. Get ready. You're going on live. And I was like, going on live? Okay. You know, it was almost like, what do I wear? What do I do? You know? And um, so, and that's what you see on the home page. And that was a few years ago. Um, and the value of that now from so many angles, it didn't cost me anything, but with social media today and, um, the power of Instagram and YouTube, um, that one little 10 or 15 minute skit on TV is on forever now. Mm -hmm. And it's some, a value that the business and the practice now has until the end of the practice life. Right. And that's the beauty of, you know, these podcasts and these, these episodes and the, the events of going on TV, everything today is now recorded and it could really, your reach is, is crazy. Um, so it's very valuable. And I know some doctors are hesitant, you know, they don't want to get on TV and you know, it's kind of, they don't want to brag or they don't want to expose themselves. I get that. It's not all about getting in front of the TV. You know, there's a lot of print magazine, print ads, a lot of local newspapers that you can get involved in. A lot of local, you know, in your church, they might have uh, uh, a monthly or a quarterly magazine that they hand out or a newsletter that they hand out or a newspaper that they hand out. There's a lot of little programs within your community that people read and people follow up on. For example, in my area here in San Diego, we have a magazine called 92130. That's the zip code that I'm from. And the magazine's called 92130. So it's everything and anything related to 92130. And, and uh, they also have 92127 and other zip codes. So what they've done is they've kind of targeted a certain, you know, five or six zip code community. And they're just basically going out and talking about all the wonderful things that are going on in the community. Mm -hmm. um, and the subscriptions of those are pretty high and they're in the thousands. So um, that's certainly something that could be very, very valuable. Um, I don't know, Paul, maybe you can expand on that a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, and, and, and whether it's community or whether it's uh, uh, statewide or, you know, to a larger level, both matter, you know, and that's where, 
you know, I take my clients through the whole process from start to finish where I'll get them in the community newspaper and then I'll also work to get them on to a larger TV audience. So I like to do print and broadcast. Remember one thing, people who are active and watching the news uh, typically care about the community they live in. And when they notice people as leaders in the community, business typically flows back. You know, so for example, a lot of dentists I've worked with, and I, I wanted, I do want to say this to date, uh, over the last five or six years, I've gotten probably 300 hits for dentists in Canada, the United States on a variety of different uh, topics, uh, technology, community outreach initiatives. Um, in saying all this is that when you're in the news, people will become more familiar with you and trust you. And uh, so at the community level and even at a larger level, your credibility, your expertise is pontificated in the minds of others. Well, you just have to find ways as a dentist to distinguish yourself and distinguish mm -hmm. your business. I'm a, you know, and this is a discussion, but you know, it's really important today that to me, it, really the newsletter idea of sending out newsletters that is just content based to your list or to your community um, has value, but also, for example, if you have 2,500 or 3,000 dentists on your email, uh, um, patients on your email list, how about if you get on video and start communicating with your list in that fashion, mm -hmm. instead of just writing content with photos and they don't know who the doctor is. Mm -hmm. You know, something that simple can start now building relationship just with your list of patients. Now expand that into the community, mm -hmm. right? Where mm -hmm. instead of 2,500, maybe your community is 25,000 or you know, 100,000 people. The same concept of what you can do in your internal software, just multiply that by 10 and do that in your community. Mm -hmm. And this is where Paul can come in and be very helpful to you because going from your software to the community, you need a professional like Paul. And listen, I'm really excited to have you here um, supporting the program. I know you're a busy guy. Paul works out of Toronto and New York. Um, he does take that guitar with him everywhere he goes. <laughs> it's always too man. man. Yeah, I just got a little painting in the back. There's nothing going on. Pretty boring, right? I, like I certainly it. can't play any instruments. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but you need somebody like Paul to come on to your team um, and collaborate with your business. And, you know, Paul is very active. He's very responsive. Uh, he will talk to you. He will communicate with you on a weekly or monthly basis as needed to learn more about your business, learn more about the direction of different things and different ideas that you have. To be honest, any idea that I bring up to Paul, he kind of twists it to a great idea. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so it, it's, it's very valuable to have him on. And, and, you know, dealing with famous people is also not a bad thing because it creates an opportunity to allow Paul to understand the reach. You know, if you're always just working with Dennis, you don't really know what it's like to get out and work with, you know, people that are known in the industry, right? I mean, we're not famous people. But when you deal with famous people, it gives you that range of understanding the normal dentist and potentially what it can take to get you to a much higher level to where you're an expert or maybe even a celebrity in your community. Um, I think it has a lot of value and we underestimate that value. And, you know, Paul, maybe you can expand a little bit on, you know, the details of your services as far as what you do. I will tell you. Um, as a member, um, getting Paul involved, uh, we had to kind of twist his arm a little bit. He charges quite a bit for one article. And um, I kind of talked to him over a period of time. And Paul and I have known each other for probably seven, eight years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, look, nobody's going to pay you $400 for one article. Mm -hmm. So we got a situation where it's just an amazing opportunity where he writes a couple of articles for you monthly for your business, specific to you or to your business, whatever it is that you want to expose. And it's an additional $100 to the membership uh, plan. And we'll talk about that in other programs. But um, 
it's an amazing deal, Paul. I want to thank you. I know you're a really busy guy writing articles. By the way, everybody will have the opportunity to um, look at the article, approve the article before it gets out to the media outlets. But, you know, like a place like New York or L.A., what are the media outlets for you there, Paul? How many, what's your reach? Um, if I give you an article, for example, uh, I'm sorry, if, if you have an article from my practice in San Diego, what's your reach? in New York or maybe even, you know, a smaller town in, in the States? My reach in New York would be probably around 100 when it comes to media outlets. That's a, uh, for a city like New York, Chicago, Toronto, LA, you're looking at about 80 to 100 typically. That's online, that's TV, that's radio, that's print, that's magazines, that's uh, smaller right. magazines. Um, smaller towns, uh, 10 to 20, you know, smaller areas. And, you know, when you're in a small town, you know, the other counties and other areas, of course, cover news that's going on. Um, so the reach is quite extensive, you know, uh, no matter where my clients are. And what he does basically takes those articles and he goes to battle for you, right? You yes. Connect with yes. The, you connect with the media outlets. Yes. And you create an environment where um, you really are trying to, you know, get the doctor in, uh, in the community with the article. That's correct. That's correct. And basically publish the article. That's, that's correct. That's correct. So what I, for example, um, what we're doing together, Shaheen right now is that we're talking to a lot of morning shows in San Diego. Uh, morning shows, by the way, are great. And so are midday and evening shows, but morning shows are popular. And what, what Shaheen and I are doing right now is I'm pitching Shaheen as a dental expert in San Diego where he can talk about invisible braces, where he can talk about teeth whitening. Right now, the media is hot for topics on how-tos, how to keep your teeth white, um, you know, how to, how just, to find I'm the right dentist. For, I'm know. just waiting for the next call where you say, hey, man, I got a 10-minute gig. Throw your suit on. You're on. It's going to be yeah, soon. Like, I'm working. I'm working hard. <laughs> I'm working real hard. You know what I mean? But it's like, yes. come on, you know, and, and when he does get those opportunities, obviously just go They're with amazing. it, right? Just yeah. go with it and yeah. make it happen. And that's really what we did. And it turned out to be a really big success. Absolutely. Um, Paul, listen, we're really excited. We can talk about this um, in length. He will be involved with our program. We are going to get him involved with our study club sessions. Um, and we're really excited to have you, Paul. So any last uh, words of wisdom from our guitar player? <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks so much. Uh, a quick solo here. Uh, no, <laughs> um, I just want to say to everyone out there is that, uh, you know, I, like I said, I've been doing PR for a long time. All my clients uh, have been with me uh, for, for many years. Uh, people understand how passionate I am in the industry. Uh, and listen, there's no better feeling than I have to call Shaheen to say, get your suit on. You're yeah. going on Fox News. And, and, okay. and I, wanted, I want that for every dentist. Yes. You know, your local newspaper needs to do a photo op. They're doing a story on your community outreach initiative. Um, you know, I've got you going on this show. I've got this happening. I like to make things happen. I like results. And I believe uh, in the dental world, it's a very, very, very important part of our life, our health. And uh, I'm big on new innovation. So... The last food for thought is jump in, let's do it, let's get you on the news, and I will help grow your business. Let's rock and roll, right? Let's rock and roll. <laughs> All right, Paul, listen, thank you so much for spending some time with us, and uh, thank you. we're excited to have you on board. I am too, and thank you so much, Shaheen. You're welcome, buddy. Cheers.